Alrighty, here we are. Welcome to another Agrarian Skies 2. Yes, Sari, we are grinding away at all of our resources, etc. We're in a pretty decent spot overall. Um, a lot of good things going on here. Uh, hardened energy cell. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But we did have a visitor to our island. Man, I wish I was here to get my Swedish brother. Mr. Iskel swung by and from Sweden with love. Oh my, a little bit of cursed earth. Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Iskel. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. I'm sure he had nothing but terrible things to say about my base, though. Right? Right, guys? I don't know. How's it feeling, Mr. Pigs and Cows? You're trapped. You're mine now. Anyways, in this episode, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? There are so many little things. Well, one of them is we were kind of stuck on the solar panel last time because we couldn't make the mirror, if you recall correctly. Well, guess what? We can make a mirror now. They fixed it. We updated the pack and all that kind of stuff. Oh my, at that platinum. Do I not have silver? Is there any silver around here? Iron, obsidian, gold, blah, 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 tin. I don't think I have any silver. What the heck, man? What the heck? I know I have some over here. I think. Oh my, look at all this epic loot. This is wonderful stuff. Okay, um, that's a decent amount of silver. Let's grab 32. Actually, it's probably got to be like 33 or something. Anyways, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Why are you getting hurt, cow? Anyways, I braided them. That's why there's floating EXP orbs. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the solar panel, and then we're going to tackle a little bit more in the blood magic realm. Get a little bit more going over there. And who knows, maybe a couple other things. Alrighty, so I got some things together here. We got some glass. That's going to be useful. And did I already put it in here? Yeah, a little bit of silver. That should give us a couple mirrors. And this is going to get us... Uh, I just logged back in. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to get ourselves the solar panel one. Uh, I can't remember what I was looking up. To be honest, I've been slacking. Uh, you know, passion, all that kind of stuff. It's it's a fickle thing. And, yeah, I you know what? I don't want to put out something that I don't like, that I don't think you guys are going to like. So, I've kind of been taking my time. And I feel like if I jump too far in or something like that, I'm not going to enjoy the game anymore. And then that'll be terrible. Really? Nothing else with that one? I tell you. What a hunk of junk. No, solar panels are actually really good. Um, they, they're, they're very useful. They, they generate stuff. Um, and yeah, they're good. They're good, all right? Is it daytime or nighttime? Which way you going, son? Which way you going? I can't tell. It's fine. I think this is the nighttime song. Is this not the nighttime song? Anywho, let's just sleep. Get rid of the rain. Let's get rid of that rain. Oh, man, the animals. Me and those animals, I tell you. Nothing but trouble. Ooh, look at that. Let's eat our bacon cheeseburger. We've upgraded to the baconist of the cheeseburgers. All right. So we got that solar panel done. And I said that I wanted to dabble a little bit more into the blood magics and whatnot. But I also have so much other stuff to do. We have the brick well. We have... You know, the compact chess. Ooh, actually, let's look at that. You know, our our chests leave a lot to the imagination right now. Compact storage. Storage drawers. Ugh. Mm. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of these things. Maybe I should actually give them a shot, though. You know, I really haven't given them an honest go. I don't think anybody likes them, though. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I definitely do not. Uh, let's use this birch. Because it's birch. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get ourselves a couple chests. And let's get some quests done. You know, it's it feels like one of those modes where 
We need to progress. Okay, I did that one. You have to make all of these? To get what? Nothing? Oh, dear lord. Alright. 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 Uh... Guess we'll plop those down like that. How much quartz can it fit? One thing of quartz. Two things of quartz. Oh, oh. Three things of quartz. Four thing. Mmm. -hmm. Not bad. Four things of quartz. Well, this will be a quart. Oh, God, that scared me. Don't do that to me. That can be our quartz storage at the moment. And... That's really about it. Ah, sweet. Iskel. Great guy. Yeah, that's really about it. All right. Well, uh, I think I'm going to leave those for now. Let's look at the compact chest here. Iron, levers, and another chest. All right. Let's get this going. We need a bit of iron. I have loads. That's good. Let's... Oh, I was making that. I forgot all about that. All right. We'll do that right after this. Boom. We need a lever. One, two. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we need some sticks. We need some levers. Beautiful. Lever, lever, chest, iron. This will give us the builder for the compact chest. Complete. Claim reward, iron bars. All right. And what does that get us? That gets us into the filing cabinets. But what does this block actually do? Um, let's just place it right there. Required materials. Okay, so you can build chests. And what kind of chests can you build? Nine rows, three columns. Backpack. You can build backpack. Okay. Chest. Okay. Compact storage. Backpacks. Okay, so that's the backpacks. And then there's these chests. Okay. Quadruple. Compact. Okay, we'll, we'll have to look into that a little bit here. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get ourselves a filing cabinet and work on some of these quests. So, oh yeah, just lots of chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a little bit more iron. Six to be exact. Let's get that going. Boom. All the chests. Filing cabinets are an amazing block. One of my favorites, actually. Let's claim that reward. We get three more. That's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, but filing cabinets are really sweet. They're good at storing, like, single items and books and stuff like that. So I do enjoy them. I don't know if I exactly have a use for them yet, but I'm sure we'll find one down the road. Maybe food? I don't know. They store all of one item. So maybe if we get a mob farm up and running with uh, Iskel's Cursed Earth here, might might be able to do something. Uh, let's look at getting ourselves a bag. And we need a gray bag, is what the quest is requiring. So chest, and we need gray wool. Wow, we need actual gray wool and string. Um, now, I think I have ink somewhere here. I don't know where I would have put it. Probably in here. I have three ink sacks. What's this one? Hungry bag. I have three ink sacks. I think that's enough to get ourselves two. Uh, we need one, two, three. We need the wool. Is that going to be enough to get us? Okay, so that's our four wool that we need. We needed a chest. Oh, can we? I think we can pull this off, guys. I think we can do it. I'm going to try my best to log a whole bunch of time, though, and complete out some of this build as well uh, in the off time. But we'll see how that goes. So, gray bag, tier one. We need gray wool, which is gray dye. <coughs> gray dye, which is basically black dye with bone meal. All right, we have bone meal. Um... Right here. One, two. We combine that with the ink sacks. That should give us four gray dye, which should give us the four gray wool that we need, which gives us enough with the string. 
and the wool and the chest to get ourselves the gray bag tier one. And for that, we get a brown bag as well. Ooh, what's this? A satchel. Very stylish satchel. Uh, inventory inside an inventory. Okay. All right. So there's the satchel and then there's the backpacks. Yes, the backpacks from Forestry, which are quite nice. So these bags here are basically an additional little storage thing. Now, one of my beefs with the Bagginses mod is I have the same problem in Regrowth. You can't shift click into it. What? Are you chopping? No, axe broke. Axe broke! So one of my biggest issues with that is that you can't, um, yeah, get get it going like that, all right? So I'm going to try this satchel out. I'm hoping that this does the job that I need. It's from Thermal Expansion, and for that we need tin, leather, and any type of wool. So nothing too, too serious. We have everything that we need for that. So let's get another piece of wool. We need some leather. Luckily, we have cows and stuff now, so no issues there. And a couple pieces of tin. Well, there's one. Do I have another piece of tin? There's another. Different metal types always have bothered me immensely. Um, yeah, so there's our satchel. Let's see. Does this solve our problem? That gives us another satchel. Really? Do I actually need two satchels? Can we, you do a satchel within a satchel? Oh, and you can shift click. Awesome. Okay. So we could shift click in certain items into our satchels, which is beautiful. Um, it basically allows us to do a whole bunch of things. And we can see the contents as well. That is exactly what I wanted. That's great. Okay, we'll take out that because those really don't need to be in the satchel. There we go. We'll store them like so. All right. Nice. A couple more options, you know, like just getting diversification. What's this brick well? You know, I've never actually made a brick well. Just saying. Parms Harvest Craft. Bricks. Ooh, bricks. Ooh, bricks. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have any clay at the moment. So we're going to leave that one. We're going to stop there. And what we're going to do is we're coming over here. I did get the brewing stand. So I'm going to make the alchemical chemistry set. Let's claim that reward down in the blood magic realm. Because there it is. Beautiful. Did I already... Oh, did I screw that up? No, did I already have one? No. What? What's going on? I'm confused. I'm confused immensely. Um, I don't think I had one. We're starting to progress along out here as well. No, I didn't have one. Huh, strange. All right. But anyways, we're going to put down the chemistry set. Now, I'm not sure exactly where I want to put this guy. Um, it might just go like right here for right now because that'll work and This guy is awesome because with the alchemical chemistry set you can do a whole bunch of things For example, say you don't have cows yet, right? And you need to get some leather Well leather you can actually make in the alchemical chemistry set with some rotten flesh flint and water so there's a ton of different recipes and infusions and whatnot that you can do with the chemistry set. But the other thing that we can do is we can actually look at the flasks from Blood Magic. Now, a potion flask, if I'm not mistaken, is a glass bottle, needs tier 2 and 2,000 life points. There's a lot of stuff that we need to get working on, uh, like a mob farm and everything for our blood as well. But there's a few things that we can get going on beforehand. So do I have any glass bottles? I don't think I do. Uh, so we'll make a couple. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do three for right now. That amount of life pool is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get. So let's go with the three. 
Alrighty, a little bit of life essence. Oh no, did I not have enough? That's not good. Not good, guys. We can't die. Uh-oh. Well, that sucks. I thought I had enough. No? No? I thought it was 2,000. Did it not say 2,000? Anyways, maybe there's like losses. I don't know. I'm gonna... It's fine. It's fine. We'll get it. It's fine. It's no big deal. We'll get it. Okay, come on. Turn. Oh my god. Acrylic dirt much? Just a little bit, hey? Just a wee bit. Alright, 2,000. You see it there, right? Okay, here we go. Click. Okay, it's infusing the glass bottle. 2,000 is what it said. Let's give it a little bit more, just in case. It's draining, it's draining, it's draining, it's doing its thing. We're infusing it with blood, etc., etc., etc. Good times, had by all. And... Craft it. Yes. All right. So there's one potion flask. All right. So this guy also can make potions just like any other, uh, you know, just like the standard. Oh, man. What's it called? I can't even remember now. Potion thing. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so basically, we can make a potion of anything. Now, I don't have any gas tears, which is one of the ones that I really want to get. But we do have some other stuff that we can use. Alrighty, but to make potions with blood magic, you need a little bit of a different, <clears throat> pardon me, setup. And for that, we are going to make a small, simple catalyst, alright? Now, basically combining those like so, um, I wonder how much I actually have. I should probably fill up my magical orb. Let's drain some more life from us and start filling that up. That should be good. Oh, it's full. Okay, that's fine. Full is good. I'm okay with full. All right, good. And then to make it work, you put this guy down here. Now, what we should see, is it working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working here? Um, it should be working. Yeah, that's what it should be. Um, uh, simple catalyst? Did they change it? Simple catalyst. Oh, okay. They just changed the order in which it goes. Okay, so it's redstone here and here. And those two are swapped. So now is it working? Now it's not working. What? Why is this not working? Can it only be like one or something? Is it that restrictive? I didn't think that was a problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am not too sure what the issue is here. Um, that should be doing its thing so looks like we can't dabble in that at the moment which is really sad that's kind of what i wanted to get going i'm not sure if that's a bug or not let me know down in the comments if you guys had any issues like this um i didn't think it would be an issue so i just kind of went ahead with it uh, yeah, so anyways, let's use our sigil of holding and put our divination sigil away. That's good. Like so. And we can carry on with the video. Alrighty, so seems how our alchemy uh, idea kind of fizzled out, which is too bad because I wanted to give this uh, potion generator a try with the blood magic to see if those work together but instead we're gonna jump into a little bit of batania starting a little bit of the flower power as well we're gonna need to set up a whole another area just for it you watch um so we're basically at the point here okay they give us a wand of the forest pure daisy and mana pool 
All right, so let's get our Petal Apothecary down. We'll set it down just right there for now. Uh, I'm going to need my satchel and a bucket. We're going to need a bit of water in the apothecary. And I wonder if I actually have enough. Why did it give us light blue? So I have one. And here's my Lexica Batania. I think what we need, we need the pure daisy. So this guy, if I'm not mistaken, is four white petals in the petal apothecary and we're gonna need seeds as well which is very good because we have lots of seeds so we're gonna need a few more white petals and i probably should be working on expanding these things um but all in due time i guess let's get out our good old trusty watering can what there we go oh I thought it, like, bugged out or something. Uh, so I'm going to get the petals, and we'll craft it. Alrighty, so there we have it. We run on over to the petal apothecary. We have all four. You throw them in. They start to kind of jumble around on you. And then you just throw in a seed. And that'll give you the pure daisy. This is the most fundamental building block of Batania. All right, now apparently we need to get some living rock and living wood as well, which is pretty easily done. So living rock is basically just stone. Uh, I sadly don't have enough to get a full loop, but you know what? We'll leave it for now. Let's actually head on out here as well, and we're going to slap down the pure daisy just in the middle. And I said the middle. I said the middle. There we go. And basically what you do is you surround it with stone and you wait a minute. You basically have to wait. There's no other ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, you can do half stone, half wood if you want, all that kind of stuff. But it's something, yeah, that you can pull off. So anyways, we're going to wait until this turns into living rock. And there we go. Beautiful. All right. Nice. So then you just harvest it just like any other with your pickaxe. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with wood. Any type of log will do the job. Might as well use up this nasty looking Bruce. Birch? Did I say Bruce? Did I just combine spruce and birch? Alrighty. Living wood. Very nice. Very nice. Make sure you use the proper tool. It's a very useful rip grass though am i right or am i right okay so we have living wood we have living rock that should give us the wand of the forest and i'm picking the reward bag forget health i never die well except that one time when i died oh what did i get sharpness five in a rare reward i would say so holy cow that is a wonderful wonderful reward you're so kind, game. Jaded, so kind. Um, that is a very nice reward. Let's save that, because Sharpness 5 hype. Talk about uh, beefing up a nice weapon. I don't know if it matters that much, but, you know, unlock 7 quests. What? Alright, let's look at the day bloom. If I remember correctly, it is not that difficult. All right, let's go on back. We need mana generation, generating floor. Oh, you can generate via bees? Blasphemy. I don't really like bees. They're okay, but yeah. So we need two yellow, an orange, and a light blue. Now, the problem that I have here is, well, I, uh, I only have orange and white. I don't have yellow. Um, how do we get yellow petals? Uh, let's see. Is there a thing listed with the Batania to get the yellow seeds? Uh, it might not be. What is it? It's actually Agricraft. Okay, so let's look up Agricraft yellow. Agricraft. All right, we'll do Agricraft. Oh my, what are those? So, yellow. To get mystical yellow flower seeds. Oh, God. 
this might be difficult. We need dandelion seeds and orange tulip seeds. For that, we need sugarcane and melon to get dandelion. Do I have dandelion? I do not. So sugarcane and melon. Sugarcane? Melon? Oh, wait. All my melon is out here. Okay. Is that all of my melon? I think it is. Let's get out there and get a little bit of melon. You know what, guys? I think this is going to be a little bit boring for for watching and all that kind of stuff. So this is exactly where we're going to end today's episode. We are going to cruise on, cruise on. I'm going to keep working away. I know that I've been going really, really slow here lately. Oh, hello, squid. <laughs> Sorry, friend, but I want your ink. Yes, siree. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and rock calamari. Very nice. Um, I know I've been going really slow here lately. Please bear with me. Like I explained at the front there, I want to make sure that what I'm doing is good. And I felt that recently I needed a little bit of a break. So I apologize in advance for that. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things, you know. I want to put out good stuff for you guys. All righty. Anyways, that's it for me. Have yourselves a great day. Make sure you slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel. And have a fantastic, fantastic day.